So next we're going to cover uh, parts per million detection with a carbon monoxide meter. Um, we're going to turn this gas log set on and do a reading up here. Usually you want to wait about five to ten minutes. Uh, we're going to do it right away. Uh, type B vent units will often have um, a couple of minutes to establish draft so they always spill monoxide at the glass door until it establishes draft. But uh, up here we could take some readings. What we're looking for is things less than um, less than nine is okay. That's normal background uh, permitted amount. But you get up above you know 10 to 20, uh, then we start hitting things like the ASHRA exposure limits. So no readings yet. The unit's on. I got one one part per million here, but it's definitely sucking in and going up this flue right now. No need to go actually go in the box because uh, your customer is not in the box. What we're looking for is ambient readings around the firebox. And so we'll want to make it uh, kind of hang out here for a little while. Might even put it up on the mantle, etc. But this is the carbon monoxide meter. Very important uh, way to test our customer safety and security. You always turn them on outdoors and then bring it in so that it zeroes out with a true zero. You don't want to start it in a potentially contaminated area. Uh, you won't get a good reading. Follow the instructions on that. Uh, for the combustible leak detector, uh, this is a rigid brand. Uh, we're going to be sniffing down around our joints on this gas log set or at a valve and this takes several minutes to take a reading, maybe two minutes to take a reading. So you would want to set it up potentially near this valve if you're going to check it and just leave it there while you're working, cleaning, doing your service, etc. If it's a true gas fireplace with a, um, a gas log set and, uh, and you know, in a compartment down here in a gas valve compartment, you can just lay it inside that area and let it take a reading for a while while again while you're working and combustible gas propane is heavier than air so it will sink um, so we're going to want to sense down low near things um, if we are near the uh, top uh, let's see natural gas is lighter than air so it starts to float so this is a good way to just sort of test for combustible leak in the background while you're working Make sure you read the manual because each one is a little different and what the display means, etc. But that's these two basic components and how they work.